Yeah, I'm, I'm John Ainsworth, and um, we've got a movement going on. You know, we're talking about nullification. We're talking about secession. Uh, we're talking about, you know, getting rid of the U.N. We're talking about voting Republican. We know there's a problem out there, and the issue is, is what is our solution? And I, I believe that we've got a solution that's very readily available. I've only got 15 minutes to talk, so all I can do is give you a thumbnail outline of it. Uh, I can assure you I've got the details. Uh, but we have taken the concept of the reason we don't have lawful government is because we don't have anyone participating in lawful government. We see that the Constitution is not observed. Well, why isn't it observed? Well, it's very, very simple. Uh, did this, did our founding fathers, when they set up this nation, did they set up a union or a nation? Did they set up a federal government or did they set up a national government? Uh, when, uh, when they first debated these ideas, they put it out in the Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers are, what are you creating? Because you want us to vote on this form of government, whether we want to be a part of it or not. What is it? And James Madison said this, because what I'm going to go at is, they changed our citizenship. And that's the key. The root cause to why we're upset is they changed our status. I'm going to read this from James Madison, Federalist Paper number 39. And the concept I'm bringing this at is, what's the status of a national citizenship? Bless you. Bless you. Do they have sovereignty, or are they controlled by the federal government? James Madison says this, the idea of a national government involves in it not only an authority over the individual citizens, but an indefinite supremacy over all persons and things, so far as they are objects of lawful government. Among a people consolidated into one nation, this supremacy is completely vested in the national legislature, which would be Congress. In this relation, then, the proposed government cannot be deemed a national one, since its jurisdiction extends to certain enumerated objects only. We were set up to have a federal government, a union of states. The states were individual. The people in the states, in North Carolina, it was the freemen of North Carolina who had sovereignty. That was the body politic. Uh, we, most people look at the Civil War from a, a, an emotional or, an immor or a moral perspective and not a political perspective. What did Abraham Lincoln do in his war? What was the objective he was doing? He was trying to nationalize the government. When South Carolina and some of the uh, southern states said they wanted to secede, he said, well, that old concept of all government of right comes from the consent of the governed and that the people have a right to alter or form their, change, uh, their form of government. He says, you don't have that. You cannot secede. We are a national government. What did Reconstruction do? It forced the nationalization of citizenship. The Reconstruction Act, if anybody knows anything about it, it annulled the original state of North Carolina. The original body politic says you cannot vote. The original people that could vote in North Carolina were the freemen of North Carolina. The United States Congress changed that. In 1867, they said the only people that can vote in North Carolina now, and in all states in the whole United States, are anyone born in the United States residing in that state. Now let me give you a quick analogy. We've got the European Union over there. Is there a difference? And, and the European Union set up kind of like our original union. Each state retains its sovereignty, but there are certain national aspects, certain, uh, uh, such as printing money. They have a common currency. They treaty as a body, and that's what we did. Well, is there a difference between only the people, the free people of France voting in France, and it's retaining its sovereignty, or if the European Union came in and said, ah, oh, we're going to change that. Anyone born in Europe is allowed to vote in France. Is that a change of the body politic? And the answer is absolutely yes. And that's what they did in this country. Now, if they change the body politic and say anyone born in Europe being allowed to vote in France, who's the sovereign at this point? The national government. That's what uh, uh, James Madison was saying. If we change this citizenship from a federation to a nation of one people, United States citizen, and a United States citizen is not a party to the Constitution of the United States of America. How, the, the original parties to the Constitution are the original states. A United States citizenship status was created in 1866 by the federal government. The federal government created that status. The federal government has total control over that status. The reason we don't have lawful government is because we don't know where our government went. The Reconstruction Act, and again, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. I've got all the court cases. But what we say that we need to do is not accept the usurpation. We talk about people being unreconstructed Southerners. What does that mean? 
means I don't accept the overthrow of my state government by the federal government through the Reconstruction Acts. They had no authority to do it. We've got all the constitutional violations. What we did in 1997 was say, you know what, the reason we don't have lawful government is no one's participating in it. No one knows where it went. So we put an oath of allegiance to our original state of North Carolina, the original Constitution, the original bodies of laws, and now we're having, and we gave notice to the pre, uh, President Clinton and Jim Hunt at the time, and now we're fighting this in court. We've got uh, cases in Wilkes County. We've got cases in Forsyth County. We've got uh, a case in Mecklenburg County. Uh, and we're fighting this, and we've actually gotten all the way up to the United States Supreme Court in January of this year to bring up the lawfulness and constitutionality of the Reconstruction Acts. Because that's, when we get our status right, to where we're not a United States citizen, where they have supreme sovereignty over us. And again, the Constitution and Bill of Rights do not pertain to a United States citizen. Those are protections of the federal government against state citizens. They got rid of state citizens. We've got to correct that status. We can get our, our government back. And uh, I got lots of uh, information on this, but in, I wasn't a scheduled guest or speaker. I just kind of got plugged in here. I just want to pique your interest and start getting the conversation going. Yes, Dave. Well, you got some time, but I want you to do two things. I want you to give her Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution. I want you to explain that you still support not only the state of North Carolina's Constitution, but the Constitution of the United States. Absolutely. And I want you to define free men, because if you don't, you're going to be called a racist. Okay, well, let's, let's, start, with, well, let's start with free men first. Okay, free men is, is just a legal status that comes out of British common law. Either you're a freeman or you're a serf. I mean, it was, it's the legal status of being free. Uh, now, because of a group in Montana, you know, who labeled themselves as the freeman, uh, and now it's, it, it becomes this term. But if you read the original North Carolina Constitution, it says this is the Constitution for the freeman of North Carolina. In order to vote, you had to be a freeman, age 21 years of age, and vote. So that is the political status. Now, you're very right. They want to take our lawful statuses and tinge them with, you don't want to be that. That's going to be racist, or that's going to be whatever. Excuse me. You're not going to intimidate me out of accepting my lawful status because you want to play political correctness. I'm going to accept my lawful status. <coughs> okay? So that's Freeman. We go to uh, Article, 4, Article 4, 4, Section 4. Article 4, Section 4 says, uh, Congress shall guarantee to every state a Republican form of government. Uh, What's a state? A state is the body. Here's, here's the biggest confusion we have today. What's the definition of a state? A state and the people are synonymous terms in law. Okay? The people are the state, the state's the people, right? You get your body politic, you got a state there. Um, uh, the, the state, the, the sovereignty resides in the people. The sovereignty resides in the state. Okay? Sovereignty, state, people, all the same thing. How do the people exercise their rights? Because the people have, all government right comes from the consent of these people. How do they consent? They, that's through the exercise of their legislature. They pass the laws that are of consent. Don't confuse what we had to what we have now, though, please. Uh, we, as soon as you try to make that apply to, that, to the situation we're in now, which is total usurpation of, of authority, it, it doesn't work. We're about getting back to a constitutional government. And we've got a lot of people that are very, very frustrated, and we got it. And, and we don't know where we lost our rights, and that's what we're talking about here, where well, we lost it here. You know, the UN, North Carolina, how many people here know that on the books in North Carolina, they passed a resolution that North Carolina is resolved to attain one world government? It's on the books. 1942. 1941. May of 1941, before World War II, before December 7th. May of 1941, that went on the books in North Carolina. There were a group of people, I interviewed them back in 1995, who were trying to get that repealed. Don Davis, Russell Capps, Fern Schubert, I don't know if you know any of those names. They were representatives at the time. They were trying to get that repealed. Uh, uh, Don Davis said they couldn't even get it out of committee. It was, it was just quashed. Okay? So, you know, there's a, but, but see, I see the UN as an effect of our overthrow, not the cause of our overthrow. The people were subjugated in 1867. So a state, let's see. Uh, oh, over the uh, Constitution and not secession. Yeah, the secession issue is we don't need to secede. We have a right to pick up the government that was taken from us unlawfully. 
you know, the Constitution of North Carolina, but through the Reconstruction Act, Congress said, let me give you a, a thumbnail sketch of what the Reconstruction Act did. Yeah, I need to go a whole lot further. Because you gotta get the timeline, the war was not for any purpose of conquest, you're, subjugation. You're later today. Yeah, I, I can go over a lot of these details later. It's just there's a lot of history, a lot of information. When you put the timeline together, Lincoln fought the war that the southern states never left the Union. They were simply in rebellion to lawful authority. They were never recognized as being out of the Union. Peace was declared in 18 and North Carolina participated in the amending of the Constitution abolishing slavery in December of 1865. Congress recognized North Carolina as being in the Union December of 1865. Um, 1866, peace was declared by presidential order. The war is over. Peace is declared. Everything's done. June of 1866, Congress proposed the 14th Amendment, which is going to nationalize citizenship. They couldn't get enough votes to pass it. So what did they do? They passed the Reconstruction Act. Who's they? The, they is Congress, the United which, States Congress. Which, which part of Congress? Uh, the radical Republicans in Congress. The, this is actually a, an absolute Republican overthrow. Okay, it was it was 100% down party lines. The Democrats were were not for it. The Republicans were for it. And again, over the years, they've just kind of switched places. They go back and forth. And because people are party men <laughs> rather than men of conscience. They just follow a party, not principles anymore. And so they can make them go in any direction they want. That's a sidebar. Um, where are we at? Uh, uh, secession. Uh, well, secession, um, we have a right to secede, but only as a lawful body. Now, I don't really want to go in that direction. But Article 4, Section 4, Congress is supposed to guarantee to every state a Republican form of government. What's the state? A state is the people. Who were the original people? The freemen of North Carolina. They were the parties. That's the group of people that held a convention and said, we want to be part of the Constitution. Okay? Congress has no authority to go in here and annul this state through Reconstruction. Oh, get back to Reconstruction. Reconstruction said, uh, uh, in 1867, Congress said, um, we're not going to get the 14th Amendment passed. We're not going to get the nationalization of citizenship passed. So what we're going to do is we're going to annul the southern states. Say they don't exist anymore. Oh, with the exception of Tennessee. Why? Because Tennessee was the only one of the southern states that ratified the 14th Amendment. So it was not reconstructed. It didn't go through reconstruction. They annulled the state. They changed the body politic. They said the only people that can vote in here are uh, anyone born in the United States. This is where we get the carpetbaggers, people from other states coming in voting. All free slaves could vote. If you participated in the war, you're not allowed to vote. Okay? These people have to get a new constitution. They have to send it to Congress. When Congress ratifies it, um, they are to hold a convention of their legislature, and they are required to pass the 14th Amendment. And the 14th Amendment, the nationalization of citizenship, is required to become part of the federal constitution before they can seek representatives and senators. Okay? Does that sound like an election of, uh, of, of the consent of the people? You need to bring up this amendment, and you are required to pass it. Read Article 5 of the First Reconstruction Act. It says it. Okay? No one has ever attacked that in a court of law. And that's what we're doing. 